Okay, so today's video is all about watercolor brush care. And I decided to show you how to care for your brushes with my collection with Craftimo, the Emma Lefebvre and Craftimo watercolor brush set. It comes with my four go-to brush sizes. Um, you get a little painting that I did there, and then there's more information on the back of the card. But these are my most loved brush sizes and shapes. You get a three quarter inch mop brush, which I think we, we renamed an oval wash brush. You get a size 12 round brush, which I absolutely love, a size six round brush, as well as a size two round brush for detail. So let's jump into all of my tips on how to care for your brushes to get the most out of them and have them last the longest. Okay, so once you receive your brand new brushes with any brand new brush, you may notice that the bristles are very, very stiff. And that's because during manufacturing, they put this water soluble um, kind of protection on it so they don't get destroyed during transportation. And all you have to do is gently rinse it off in some water and then just kind of move the bristles around. One thing you may notice over time after using your brushes, the bristles are going to change color. Watercolor has stain in them. It's just bound to happen, but that does not mean that your brush is damaged um, and there's nothing really special you can do to prevent the staining. When using your brush, you wanna make sure to be as careful and as gentle as you can. Um, you wanna take care of anything that you want to last, but definitely in painting, there are some techniques that require you to be, let's say a bit more rough, like a dabbing motion. So you're swishing around those bristles, you're dabbing them on your palette to get different textures and shapes, and that's totally okay. Just make sure that when you're done, you thoroughly rinse them off and you just reshape the brushes by running it against the side of the jar or you can reshape them with the tips of your fingers. Ideally, when rinsing off your brush, you wanna make sure you're not getting the ferrule too wet so you're not dabbing it in too far. The ferrule is the part that kind of holds the whole brush together. And if you get water trapped in there, then you're gonna loosen the glue that holds the bristle to the ferrule and the ferrule to the handle. So when you are done, like I said, you can reshape your bristles with your fingers and then you wanna lay them gently on a paper towel or if you have a little brush holder, or even more ideally, some sort of contraption like this one, which I will link below, where you can hang your brushes upside down to dry, which will drain any water that is trapped in the ferrule through the bristles to the bottom of the jar. Once your brushes are completely dry, you can store them handle side down in any type of holder that you have. Now for things to completely avoid, do not leave your brush in water, this is something I did a lot as a beginner, but as you can see, the bristles will bend and if they're in there long enough, they will stay that way. Also, when you are laying them down on paper towel, make sure the bristles are not touching anything that could bend the bristles because if they dry like that, they will stay like that. And lastly, once you're done painting and your brush is still wet, do not store it handle side down. You will see drips of water kind of soaking into the ferrule, which will also damage your brush. You wanna make sure it's completely dry before you store it handle side down. And then one more thing, when cleaning your brush, make sure the water runs clean just by dabbing it on the paper towel to see if there's any pigment there. There was a little bit of purple left, and now you can see it's clear, you know it is clean. And lastly, if you are traveling with your brush, you may wanna keep that little plastic piece that you got when they are brand new brushes. It will help protect them if you put them in a case or some sort of you know, traveling bag so the bristles don't get damaged. And those are all of my tips for taking care of your brushes. Let's make sure our brushes last as long as we can make them. And I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Don't forget, if you'd like to purchase your own set of my Emma Lefebvre and Craftimo brushes, go to craftimo.com to pick up your own set today.